I'm Susan Koenig and this is Somatics for You. Today we're going to do a wonderful movement in standing that differentiates the trunk from the shoulder girdle. So we're going to start now and I need to explain what the shoulder girdle is. The shoulder girdle on one side would be the clavicle or collarbone, the shoulder joint itself, the upper arm bone, and the shoulder blade on that side. That's your whole shoulder girdle complex. So that's just a little vocabulary we need to start with. So start in standing. You can have your shoes on or off. Often we're at the office or we've been doing desk work. We need to stand up and move. This is a wonderful movement to do. So stand up, shoes on or shoes off, and you're going to grasp your elbows. I'm going to widen my stance just a little bit for comfort and you're going to rotate or turn gently and slowly to one side. You'll pass through the middle and gently and slowly to the other side. And everything is coming along. Your head, your neck, your spine, your shoulder girdle, your trunk, your rib cage, and even in your lower body, even though your feet are on the ground, there's a little bit of movement in my legs, my thighs, my knees, that's fine. Let everything come along. And then rest your arms. Now, come back into the position where you're grasping your elbows gently. Now you're going to leave your head and your trunk and your spine and your legs still. And you're going to move your shoulder girdle from side to side. So your arms are moving, your shoulders are moving, your shoulder blades are moving. See if you can tune in to your shoulder blades. One shoulder blade is coming closer to your spine. One shoulder blade is going further away from your spine. And do that a few sets and then let your arms relax. The third part, grasp your elbows. And this is the most sophisticated one. You're going to leave your shoulder girdle still and you're going to move your head, spine, and trunk and a little bit through the legs. You're going to rotate the trunk and spine and leave your shoulder girdle relatively still. You're going to try to keep it still. And what you're doing is you are uh, turning your rib cage on the insides of your shoulder blades. And so you're trying to get your rib cage, trunk, head and neck to move while your shoulder girdle is still. Then rest your arms again. And then we'll go back to the beginning and we will integrate the whole movement again. But see if you don't feel a difference. And slowly and gently go around you can see I've gained a lot of movement. A little bit more on my left than my right, but it doesn't matter. And doing that differentiation really changes my ability to turn, to twist, to rotate. And just enjoy yourself. Do it comfortably, gently, and you'll, you'll really feel how good that is for your spine, for your whole shoulder girdle, and just for your sense of feeling upright in standing. And then go take a break, walk around, and feel how good that feels. Thank you very much.